I just found drumsticks around the house and I started playing. I was also experiencing this rush of just being natural in rhythm, but it was really all about the rhythm of things. Mm -hmm and as in my paintings and as in my music, as in life. It's the rhythm of life for me and this another rhythm and which sort of popped into my world about 15, 20 years ago. It's just another creative urge that I had to scratch. When I approach a canvas, just like I approach my drum set, I approach it with open mind. When I go up there, I try to go up there with a blank slate. Well, it's vibratory in nature, just like the universe. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to plug into the larger pictures, you know. It's the mystery of rhythm, it's the mystery of pain, it's what you bring to the art, and then be able to take a deep breath, focus, be heroic in your work. My painting involves vibration. So when I finish or I'm almost finished with the painting, I will vibrate it, whether it be with my hands or with rainbow. The rainbow goes mm -hmm. like this, and it brings up the colors that we put into it. You know, I paint with multicolors, mm -hmm. so these colors come up within each other by the use of vibration, whether it be the Pythagorean mm -hmm. monochord. So I use a musical instrument to power the painting, to create the paintings. It's created out of the vibrations that are formed after the picture is poured. But before I use this, I use my hands, I use my drumsticks underneath it, because that's how the painting started to glow. The, I try to get into the gamma range, which is about 30 cycles. And that's what this does. So sometimes I'll go down lower, I'll try to get into the gamma because that's where all the good feelings and consciousness happens. So I'm translating these vibrations into the subwoofer, which translates it into the, uh, the art and it vibrates it and it brings it to life. So that's the chain. So you talk about vibrational expressionism. All of this is about synergy. It's all about synesthesia. And if you, can, if you understand that, then you're able to have different parts. I can smell my paintings, I can see my paintings, I can hear my paintings, you know? So a lot of the different senses are employed simultaneously in my paintings. Now, I really look forward to coming up of uh, my time in the studio. Uh, so I go from music to visuals, from visuals to music. <laughs> back and forth, so they, they become synesthetic with each other. After you've learned your skills, then you, ha you have to be able to lose your ego and who you think you are, who you are, and uh, open up to uh, that very moment. Be in the now, how can I get in the now? And what comes out of it? That's, that's the beauty of it. It's not just about me painting and enjoying it, which is, I enjoy it very much. It's what it does out there in the world that is important to me.